Etsy and Candles, a match made in heaven or a risky bet? Let's find out. Hi guys, for those who don't know me, I am Sonal and I'm the founder of Sosa Candles. I've been running my candle business since 2021. Naturally, I started selling candles on Etsy first and uh, we are sitting in 2024 and I wanted to really uh, weigh my pros and cons and actually help you all decide uh, whether or not it is still lucrative to sell candles on Etsy. So I've made a, you know, I've made a small uh, list of pros and cons and we're just going to have a look at it uh, together this is my way of just having a discussion with you all so that you all can decide what's best for you and your business so let's quickly find out and yeah let's quickly find out and the million dollar question is should you sell on etsy so i mean this is just a new feature and i wanted to really try out and uh, i think it's really time that we start addressing the elephant in the room no i'm not talking about myself i'm talking about etsy well uh, for those who don't know i actually started my candle business back in 2021 and naturally the first place where i listed my candles were etsy and it's been a good experience by far but we're now sitting in 2024 and we've got to really weigh our options and decide whether or not Etsy is still the right place to sell your candles or we should be putting our shop elsewhere. So I just made like a small PPT which I'm going to start sharing with you all real quick. So as you can see, not too many words, but uh, you know, enough for us to do our uh, pros and cons discussion and see whether or not it's good, whether or not Etsy is still the gold mine wherein we should sell our candles. So let's first uh, look at the good things uh, and uh, discuss the good things so that we feel a little more confident and then we'll tackle the harsh realities so yeah let's begin at first so um selling your candles on etsy and other um, you know handmade products online is a great way to reach new customers and spread the awareness for your brand maintaining a website for your small business is always beneficial and you know we are going to talk about you know maintaining your website in the future videos for today we're discussing etsy see you you're probably familiar with etsy or at least as a browser or you know as a shopper it's the most popular marketplace for makers and is a go-to for discovering handmade products and gifts online. When it comes to discussing the pros of Etsy, the first thing that comes to my mind is its simple setup. You don't really need a lot of experience, you know, to build your store, to build your Etsy store. It's definitely not rocket science and Etsy walks you through the entire process. The kind of support I have gotten from Etsy when I started my my online shop uh, the same kind of support i have never got from any other e-commerce platform trust me i sell my candles on multiple platform and etsy has by far been the best because it's almost like they hand hold you through the entire process their team is in touch with you constantly they explain you everything in detail they also walk you through the etsy policies which are really really important to go through and uh, they are you know naturally they're just there with you at every step of the way so you don't really feel lost ever or you don't really ever feel uh, you know confused or out of place about anything they are there to make sure that uh, you are able to get onboarded within time and with ease so i think the simplicity of onboarding is a great uh, you know is a great uh, benefit and a great advantage when you're selling on etsy vis a -vis selling on other platforms um in term in terms of trust as well uh etsy is the most trusted platform it's been around uh, so it's been uh, around since 2005 and uh, it is a well-known platform for customers across the world you know uh in, in the the year 19 uh, 2019 uh, etsy had over 45 million of active buyers which i feel is a huge pool of customers because uh, you know for uh, you know for any platform to succeed it 
needs demand and supply both so etsy does the supply for you know having a portal wherein you know sellers and small business owners like us put up our shops but it also has millions of buyers who spend billions of dollars every year purchasing goods from us so you know it has the right balance of uh, demand and supply which i feel is a great motivator and uh, knowing that etsy is always there in between whether in you know whether in terms of support or whether in terms of you know query mitigation or uh, whether in terms of uh, client servicing it really builds a lot of confidence and trust in the platform and uh, you know uh, every customer or every buyer has uh, the trust that you know uh, whatever they are buying on the platform is going to be authentic uh, because there is etsy see who's going to be a mitigator who's going to be there to look after everything so you know that's the second point where trust is a major factor you know in deciding whether or not a buyer would you know trust buying from me or not third is you know the fees the fees are really really minor so in terms of the listing fee etsy charges about uh, 20 cents per listing which is valid for about 4 months or until it is sold post which it needs to be renewed for another 20 cents again and uh, there are other fees such as transaction fee there's a transaction fee of 6.5% and there's a payment processing fee which is charged by the payment gateway and uh, these are the only fees that you know are connected with etsy um uh, there is one certain fee uh, which is you know the shipping fee and it is usually borne by the buyer of the product so the you know the, there are multiple variations whether the seller can choose to you know provide a free delivery uh, and bear the costs or they can ask the buyer to pay the cost for the shipping so you know it works both ways but uh, when it comes to the costs the only cost that you bear is the listing fee uh the transaction fee the transaction fee is also levied only when you make a sale so the 6.5% is only when you make a sale and uh, the payment gateway fee is also uh, only when you are uh, the payment processing fee is only when you are making a sale other than that there is no cost of putting up your shop on etsy so that's the third fee uh, that's the third pro uh lots of help so i feel um in my opinion etsy is a great testing ground you know if you are a new business owner or if you are new to selling online you can get a feel or you know you can get a flavor of uh, selling online without investing lots of time and money on building your own website take it as an opportunity to build your own brand and customer base as well as refine your product line so i feel these um, are you know the pros uh, for which you must consider selling on etsy if you are a new candle business owner and now have a now let's have a quick look uh, on the cons part as well we can't really wear rose colored glasses all the time so it's important to see reality through its you know through our own eyes so yeah in terms of cons i feel the major con with etsy is that it is genuinely a saturated marketplace um it can be really difficult to stand out and be visible in a saturated market you may find that the time you invest in getting your shop and products visible may be spent better building a customer base from scratch one that isn't distracted by other intriguing products they may find on etsy well let's be honest everyone on etsy is trying to do their best so uh, sometimes it gets really challenging when um, customers have a lot of options you know they literally spoiled for choices so yeah it is you know it is a saturated marketplace and uh, it is best to truly accept it in the beginning itself and yeah i think that's about it in terms of the fees you know while the fees are low they add up quickly especially if you're not vigilant of the advertising costs and how they affect your bottom line so there are you know there are uh, 
there are sorry there are n number of costs that you will have to bear in terms of bringing your uh, shop ahead of other customers or you know bringing visibility to your shop so there are two to three ways of marketing your products one is that you do social media marketing by yourself and pray to god that customers come to your shop the other is that you create visibility by running ads you know you can start with $1 or $2 per day which quickly adds up the third is etsy you know promotes your business online and offline and charges 15% of advertising fee every time you crack a sale by their ads so you know all these uh, you know all these costs can literally add up very quickly and make it challenging for you to make your shop profitable if you're not really vigilant so i think uh, uh, it's really important uh, for you to analyze the costs that you know are adding up um, otherwise you know you might run in losses Uh, the next con i feel is the changing fee structures and uh, it wasn't very frequent up until uh, late etsy you know does tend to make changes to its guidelines and fee structures somewhat regularly now which uh, i feel is very very vague and uh, you know unless you're not in the loop about these changes and you adjust your pricing accordingly this might put a dent you know on your revenues and on your profits so i feel this is also one of the con wherein uh, you know staying uh, in the loop and you know being in the know of what is happening and what are the new changes that are being introduced is really really important to make sure uh, that your business is floating ahead with profits so yeah that's uh, those were the pros and those were the cons um if i were to give my two cents on this i feel etc has a lot of pros that should be considered for new and established businesses etc is a good fit for you if you want to get your online shop i mean if you want to get your uh, shop online up and running quickly because like i said you don't really have to spend a lot of money setting up your shop working on the aesthetics it is done that part for you all you need to do is list your products and go online really quickly and uh, you know it's also a great option if you really feel overwhelmed about uh, the options of selling online by yourself or if you're not really ready to invest the resources into a custom website uh you know starting a custom website has its own uh, costs you know the cost of uh, the e-commerce web store getting an ssl getting a custom domain so you know it also has its own uh, costs associated and if you want to sort of avoid it for a while you can definitely consider setting up a shop on etc if you already have a customer base and you want to reach out to a new audience then etc is definitely a place to go to and uh, etc is also a great place to go to if you want to test out a new product line a container style a scent etc without making a lot of changes to your website and it's a great place for you to sell if you have a small curated product line because etc is known for being uh, you know being the shopkeeper of uh, curated handmade and one of a kind items so people are there to spend their money on um, you know the special items that you have in you have in store to sell and uh, etc is definitely good for you if you are willing to invest some time in learning the ins and outs of etc etc for me has been a solid platform as you know a new business owner i felt like it was a great platform because i could get my feet wet with selling online the ease of setup is hard to beat trust me i have a you know i have my own company website i sell on multiple e-commerce sites and i sell on etsy and by far i feel etsy is the best platform when it comes to you know getting uh, online really really quickly from my point of view i feel visibility on etsy seems to be the major difficulty you know that is faced by newer sellers 
and see in a saturated market you have to invest some time and money to help your product stand out from the crowd there is no going you know back and forth about you know growing your business organically on etsy there are businesses who are there since decades and are doing really well so if you really want to stand out you will have to shell out some money on a daily basis so that you can improve your visibility on the portal and uh, here are some you know success tips that have worked for me which i am sure are going to work for you as well so if you would, if you really want to get success on etsy you need to make sure that you have high quality photos i mean gone are the times when we shot photos in a white box and we displayed in you know we displayed it on our shops now people want to see a photo of your product in a lifestyle setting it's almost like we are helping our potential customers imagine how the product will look in their homes in their natural environment and that you know helps that helps the product sell faster because they can sort of imagine how to look in their own place or the kind of feels it's going to give when they are going to use your product so having high quality photos is really really important especially when you know that this is an online store and you also realize that the customer cannot touch feel or sense your products he can only see your products so take high quality photos from multiple angles and make sure that you are able to you are able to display and showcase the benefits of your candles so that's one second is research your particular niche see look at the shops that are selling similar products successfully and take note of what they are doing well and what they are not doing well as well what's their price points what are their photos like their product discussion uh, descriptions what keywords do they use these can become your building grounds of setting up your own shop and understanding what is it that you want to sell and how you want to start the other point is offer excellent customer service customer service does not begin when you get an uh, when you get a sale customer service begins on the very moment when the customer reaches out to you for a query and naturally when you respond quickly to customers queries you are more likely to get more sales from customers and buyers will naturally gravitate towards you uh, when you have uh, positive reviews and uh, and you you know and when you provide a best experience uh, you know best shopping experience to your customer so um, just just keep in mind that uh, personal touch uh, and responding quickly and offering great customer service all these things go a really long way um the next thing is uh, about seo you really need to maximize your tags on seo tags help describe your products in words or short phrases etsy uses these to serve uh, to serve shoppers with relevant results it's important to make sure that your keywords don't repeat or are not spelled incorrectly think about what you would search as a customer when you're looking for your own product um last but not the least curate your listings and update them regularly see we know that we have got to pay 20 cents every 4 months but you know here's the smart hack if you have you know if you've um, uploaded your products if you've got your listings up and in the past 4 months you've seen that this particular product is not selling so you can quickly replace it with another product or just deactivate the listing you don't really have to um you know suffer in silence and keep paying the fees for product that's for products that don't sell so you know these these are some ways that uh, that you can use in order to succeed on etsy like i said etsy is a great testing ground and you must try selling on etsy see before you venture out solo by yourself because etsy really teaches you business when you do you know when when you are new so it is definitely a great platform but uh, you let me know in the comment section whether or not you're going to plan on selling your candles on etsy 
or if there's anything that i have missed and you want me to cover and uh, if you have found value in uh, this video please like my video and uh, please support my channel by subscribing to it it really means a lot to me it motivates me to work harder and create more high quality videos for y'all and if you have any other video request please feel free to add them to the comment section and i'll work on creating a video for you i'll see you next time until next time bye bye